Welcome to this look at some awesome and potentially game-changing information on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. CLEP. I always say this, but I will try to be quick. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. I'm here on the Western Wilds. I'm, I've got the Platinum Expansion and Platinum Edition equipment. What I came on here to do was to check and see what, if any, equipment could be used on other maps. That was my first thing I came on here. In doing that, I found out something else. Um, someone messaged me to say this, and I thought, oh, well, yeah, obviously, that's PC, isn't it? Um, but no, we'll get to that in a moment. The thumbnail will probably already have given that away. Cable yarder I set up. Now, things like this, this cable yarder, if you want to cross a river with your lumber, it doesn't have to be crossing a river, it can be whatever you want, but the cable yarder does work. I can send that on its merry way if we just send that uh, move carriage to Yarda. We'll get that to go all the way there. The good thing is I don't have to go all the way there to disconnect. I can detach the trees there if I want to. Uh, I can then move carriage to last position, which should bring it... Will it bring it all the way back? It might not do. But what I can do is enable it to follow, so it should bring it back to me. So the cable yard is working, no problem at all. Obviously, all the logging equipment, all the Volvos, all the different grabs and things like that are absolutely no problem at all. That should work. Um, I did wonder, of course, whether or not things like... I don't know how this tree is going to be. Let's just attach that. Will it let me do that one as well? Okay, let me double-click there. That's cool. Uh, we'll raise that. If you haven't watched my video on cable yarding and winches, do. It's very helpful. If I send that to the yarder, that can go off very happily. So the other thing I was going to check was the spray markers. If we go into our tools and we've got miscellaneous and we've got a new section marking sprays and we can pick whichever colour we want. Certain colours can mean certain things. I just went for green because it's Miss Silly P Green and you know me. So actually another thing I was going to check was can I have multiple colours? Don't see the reason why not. So if I go up and up, I've got green, then red. Yep, so we can switch. So if we go over to a tree, for example, this one, I've already tried it. And it works. If I go to that, let's go to red this time. If I go L1, I can change the marker. And it got you can just about see on the tree, if you can see on the ground. Um, that's got a cross. That's got the arrow with cut beneath this line, circle, which is uh, kind of an equal sign. Let's do that one. Now you have to do a couple of sprays. So activate hand tool. There we go. Just wasn't close enough to the tree, I guess. There we go. So the spray markers work, no problem at all. You can put that away. What won't work, I've had a quick look. If we go to our productions, and we go on to the new buildings in the production chains. So... Things like barrel factory, furniture factory, flooring factory. Some of them might work depending on sawmills. Uh, anything that requires metal won't because the metal requires the iron ore from the mine shaft. Um, I did try a buy anything silo. I thought oh, maybe it will let me, maybe it will give me the option. There may be modded ones that will on console. But as it stands, I guess unless the map has been converted to have iron ore on it, you won't be able to make metal with the productions factory. Um, also, any of the ones that require long planks, beams, that kind of stuff, you're not going to be able to. But things that just require wood, so if we go across, what were the ones that required just wood? Paper factory, for example, you can, because that just requires lumber. So I'm pretty sure the pet access, oh no, that was uh, long as well. So the sawmill here on Western Wilds, I bought the sawmill, and if we go to... Oh, we were on there. Um, that will only do wood planks. So again, unless it's been retrospectively adjusted. Now, I'm not saying that uh, all of the Giants maps might have been changed to allow it, but I'm looking more at kind of playing on modded maps, that kind of thing. So I guess map makers will have to go in and change their files if you're going to. So things that require metal, things that require the specific long planks, beams, things that we can't necessarily get a standard, won't necessarily work. But as we can see, the cable yarder does the spray paints work for uh, logging and lumber and that kind of stuff. We've got the big old Volvo. I've got the Volvo lorry. And what we have got is the shipping container. 
So for a long, long time, people have been asking me, saying, I don't like logging, don't like doing logging on console. And I get so many comments, people messaging me saying, um, is there an auto-loading log trailer for console? Now, every time I come back and say, no, there's not. Unfortunately, not at the moment. It doesn't look like there will be, unless scripts change and that kind of thing. Well, as part of the Platinum Expansion, Platinum Edition, we've got these shipping containers. The shipping containers, you will find, under objects and out on the end, we have got the option of a 40 foot, 12 meter, a 30 foot, 9 meter, or a 20 foot, 6 meter. Um, you can change the design on these. Hang on. Lizard logistics or forestry, and then we can change the main color to anything on that palette, like so. When you've got them, you can open and close the doors. Like so. Now, I haven't tried putting a vehicle into them yet, or pallets, or anything like that. They are designed, I guess, more for logs. And it does say, if we go back to there, shipping containers can be filled with logs and sold as a whole. So what you would do, you can use the big wheel loaders with the big forks. You can lift these up. At the moment, it's strapped down onto this trailer. You can lift these up and you can move them around with wheel loaders. You can put them into cell points and you can load them onto trains, um, providing the train, wherever you're sending it off to, will take lumber. And you fill these up. So I thought, okay, that's great, but they're going to be a bit fiddly. As we can see, we've got the Schwarz Muller trailers that came as part of the DLC as well. This one, to take the longer 12 meter container, the 40 footer, the trailer extends. So you can put smaller ones on or you can extend the trailer out and you can put one of these big old boys on it. And the great thing that it turns out is I'm playing on PlayStation 5, I am on console. Now, if you want to make life even easier, uh, you can use the big bag handler thing. This is um, big bag and support package by Farm Centro Sol. You find it on the front loaders. This will pick up pallets, bags, logs, everything. It's absolutely brilliant. If I get closer to the pallet, watch what happens. If I did it better, it would work. Boom. Gone. So if you don't want to be loading pesky log trailers, get yourself some shipping containers, load them onto a trailer, and you can, honestly, what they've done is they've made sure that people can play the game and they can enjoy it. If they didn't enjoy it before and didn't like certain aspects, they've tried to make sure that you can then have a go. You can try it out. One thing I haven't done is tried to see whether or not, this is the 12 meter one, so I cut these at 12 meter lengths. I don't know whether or not this will need to be um, 12 meters or whether or not you can um, you can put smaller log lengths on there because at the moment they are 12 meters and there's 12 meter ones filling up and as you can see it just fills them up all different sizes it's more the literage that works if we go into our lorry you'll see now we've got 18,382 liters of lumber on that trailer so what I'm going to do very quickly I'm just going to cut a couple of shorter bits and see if it will take the shorter bits. Actually, what I might do instead, what will be a bit easier, let's go to that. Let's detach trees, I don't know, fall on my head. See whether or not, because it's a 12 meter trailer, it will just take whatever lumber you put in there as literage and it will just put it in there so you don't actually have to cut 12 meter log lengths. Thought I'd try that while we're here, give it a go. And that way we've answered quite a few questions. So yes, we do have an auto load log trailer on console. Yes, a lot of the stuff does work on other maps. I would imagine as we move forward, um, new maps coming out and map makers will adjust things and try out different stuff, I would imagine. Let's get a couple of those on. Do we cut that one? I did as well. Let's do that as well. There we go. So I say, if you don't like picking up logs, you find grapples and stuff are a pain, this thing by Farm Centro Saw is brilliant. And obviously there's the CSZ pack, that's got a big bag handler in as well now. That always used to work with logs. So will this take smaller logs? The loaded log has the wrong length for the container. This reduces the sell price. Oh, okay. There we go. So we've learned something. I said we'd probably learn something along the way. So if you do six meter ones, put them in a six meter container. Nine meter ones in a nine, twelve, so you want to put them in. Otherwise you're going to reduce what you get so 12 meter ones are better off going in there um so what we can do let's close that up as you've seen it does work we'll close the door up if i under the tension straps i should be able to 
if I line it up. <laughs> I mean, is that not just seriously cool? So, you can put these on the ground and they'll load. When I, when I first tried it and the logs went into it, I had it sat on the ground with the doors open, so you don't have to have it on the back of a trailer. But if you want an auto-load log trailer, I mean, what you could do is you could stack a load of these all together in one place, have the doors open, and just keep bringing your lumber over to it. Fill them all up, and then every now and again you come along, collect it, put it onto a trailer. So obviously, auto-loading logs. Job done! I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. And if you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.